All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Parasite, Parasite the Maxim, Maxim episode 20. 20. And okay. this episode is where things will probably all go to shit. Yes, yes, it is uh, It is a bit crazy at this moment here. We're about to have some serious human rights violations going on here in the I mean, name of... Uh, uh, they did yes, say the survival episode, of the human race. Yeah, this episode is apparently titled Crime and Punishment. Crime and Punishment, which... And lovely. They may have flamethrowers here. So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, they, they've... they've They've discovered one parasite, but they haven't done anything yet. Not so yet. There is still a possibility, however mm -hmm. unlikely from a meta perspective, that this actually goes along smoothly. That they're yes. able to quarantine and separate the parasites from the humans, and then bring out the big guns. But yeah. so far, yeah, this is yeah. this is a thing of where how much would a parasite panic if mm -hmm. they were then separated from their group of seven? And it was, a, and they were aware that, yeah, yeah, well, right. If yeah, they were just separated, separated. From a group of seven. That's, yeah. a, that's all it would take. <laughs> yep. Would yep. it be a thing of where they just suddenly start killing everyone? Who I knows? don't know. And and are they within range of the other parasites so that they would be able to sense that, you know? Yeah, they definitely yeah. are. They definitely mm -hmm. are at this right. point. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for so, sure. Um, yeah. So we have to know what uh, Hirokawa and Goto are going to do here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the the mayor, and then our uh, enforcer Yakuza Slayer five in one go to uh yeah monster mm -hmm. uh, he's he's a beast so uh how do they respond to all this and how is shinichi and migi going to handle mm -hmm. being in the middle of the human situation here right but and then having loyalty in some ways to just the fact that these are yep you know mm -hmm. beings these are entities mm -hmm. these are you know <laughs> it's always people well and then also the fact that there's the killer that is able to detect parasites mm -hmm. and miggy is not asleep anymore yeah so even if you know eye contact isn't being made will he accidentally mm. like kind of do a sweep of shinichi and be like <gasps> wait yeah yeah uh -huh. you know uh -huh. we're because the, they're right next to each other we're so close to all these crazy things going down yep. and we're nearing the end of the show so yeah yeah, yeah. y'all oh, without boy. further ado oh, let's get into this all right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, and then come back here for the discussion. All right, well, okay, everything went wrong. Yeah. And yet, and yet it actually went actually very a, well for the humans. Yeah, the all human beings have a, have a very effective weapon. Yep, yep. And it's almost... It's got almost, a good spread. <laughs> it's almost a little bit disturbing how easily this is happening. Right. Because what I think they're trying to bring up is that human beings, when when threatened with the idea of, you know, an existential threat like this, you know, something that could be an extinction level, you know, kind of Yeah, as kill well. a few civilians. I see this as an absolute yeah, win. That's basically like, where they're at. They're like, uh -huh. oh no, some uh some uh you yeah. know casualties you and, know some uh, and all things considered not many civilians have died so far compared to what i thought would happen like well, well like, it's probably in like the dozen at this point you know i don't know i like it seems like it's only been like six or something but which is still too many right but but it's just like this is also how effective right this trap is working out here for now but in right. terms of in terms of still the yeah the the uh the way it can still go uh -huh. if uh, Goto is just oh yeah, that, that loose. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. It's, he kills it's, everyone. It's one of those things where, like, well, I mean, who knows? If they if they have flamethrowers at the ready, then you know, maybe maybe they could do something. But yeah, <laughs> um, but one of the things that I'm really glad about how they decided to do this here uh -huh. is that they made the humans competent. Yeah. Because one of the things that I the feel like is consistently is, done that. is yep. common to do when you have the humans making the decision that's kind of like the the um you know the decision that we don't want them to do as like as a the, meta as a meta thing, thing right yeah yep. is that you then make them incapable right right and that makes it less chilling right right because in in many ways if it was something where it's just like oh the humans go crazy and start just <laughs> because then because then basically you know. what we're doing is we disconnect ourselves from those humans because right. they're evil monsters yeah, who yeah, aren't exactly. at all a good representation of right. our species but right. then we see the ones where it's like 
oh no, there's a lot of shades of gray in here. And then uh-huh. we go, oh crap. Yeah, like I'm actually cheering them on at right. moments. And I'm yeah. like, oh. Because, because they're oh, doing no. a good job of it. So it's the idea that like, you know, it's it reinforces the idea that humans would make these kinds of decisions because yep. they work. Yep. Like, yep. because they work. They, you know, question the morality of it all you want. But it's effective, and that's mm-hmm. in that, and that's what makes it so insidious. Yeah, because because then it would tempt the every person to make a decision like that. Yeah, because it does work. The thing where you try and you know, like, don't make the tough decision and save you know, save the you know, save your girlfriend and the and the you know, the thing of kids that you know the green goblins holding up at the same time that ends that results in both of them dying. Right? You yep. know, like like that's the kind of stuff that really makes this. Uh, right, yeah. it makes it kind of. Uh, makes your skin curl. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and the fact that Shinichi is just sitting here as all of this is happening. A bystander. Yep, and there is so much that he could do to help. Yeah, and in a lot of ways he's, you know, he's kind of a, a company to this. He's uh, he's uh, uh, he's a little bit responsible for, for this kind of situation here. He is capable of doing more, mm-hmm. but based on his own worry, his own threat yep. of basically Which is very understandable because he would totally get... Yeah. put down and miggy is also being mm-hmm. like no i'm not going to yeah like this is really bad yeah like in a lot of ways shinichi like miggy is controlling how much like shinichi even knows of like what could happen like the whole thing of like mm-hmm. sensing the parasites and the locations and things like that miggy's like yeah no i'm not telling shinichi about any of this no but shinichi can just sit here and listen to the gunshots you know yeah but here's the other thing is that mm-hmm. now that uh Kuroga- kuragami um yeah, Uragami, Uragami. Uh huh. Um, now that he's seen kind of this whole thing, this whole carnage and stuff, do mm-hmm. you think if he comes out back after this is over and sees Shinichi, he's not going to out him? Um, yeah, yeah, right. He he, he totally will. I was I'm, out of just pure fear of just like oh, sure. I saw what these things could do. I saw one that was way way more terrifying than all the rest Uh uh-huh like did he even look human to you guys just that moment where uh goto just kind of gave him the predator stare and then he just kind of goes oh (laughs) no no i'm out i'm out yeah oh that would have been in some ways though now it it builds for i guess more dramatic tension Mm -hmm. to have it not go this way but given the fact that that goto was able to take their shots just fine mm-hmm. i would have loved to see when he does that slow turn and walk away for them to shoot him for them to be like oh he's getting away bam 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 they start firing does nothing yeah and then they're like oh shit mm-hmm. you know um and then maybe he leads them back to that area as they're like trying to like you know quick quick there's uh, something's different about this one you know and then yeah that happens um yeah I also want to say I think that the reason why they did that is partially because of the idea of a uh, of a of an apex, you know, kind of species, predator, mm-hmm. creature, or what have you, that his his force of will was so strong that him saying, "Come, that we'll have more room this way," they like legitimately had this moment of <gasps> like. Okay, well we'll right. do it. Like enough it, enough hesitation to basically not shoot him. So and then they're like, well, we have away, to follow him. We have to we can't let him get away. Yeah. yeah. It's uh-huh. basically like a, a mass kind of paranoia stun AoE effect. Sure. And they just kind of all were like like that they had that hick right. of like that, that hiccup in where yeah. they, for a brief second they they froze. And yeah. then Goto, of course, was never under any threat by any of them. Mm-hmm. And yeah. dispatched them in some ways a little bit easily. But also in a way that was rather brutal because he's like, oh, I'm going to use your own weapons yep. against mm-hmm. you. Oh, nice. yeah. All right. See what I can do. Like, he's still like, experimenting with what he right. can do. We've seen Magneto with his three marbles, you know? Like, like we, we know what, like, kind of crazy stuff can happen in this situation. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but um, we had the whole bit with the buses in the beginning. Yep. It was an extremely effective technique. We revealed that there's a specific type of shotgun pellet mm-hmm. fired in a specific area. Yep. That it it will... just destroys the heart in one in one go. There yep. you go. And it basically I think yep. shocks the parasites into to death, basically. Well it because... just it just destroys the heart immediately. Right, but they don't die immediately. Right. But that, that initial shock from having mm-hmm. their connection to the human heart, you know, ending like that then leads them to die 
eventually. Right, or, because or they so what, right because they depend on their body to function. So they only have as long as a human body would normally have if it got shot in the heart with a shotgun. You know. Yeah, probably like plus two seconds. Or right, something. right, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's the because you know because we've we've established the whole idea that if you shoot a parasite enough times, it will die eventually. But the problem is, what does it do until then? Yeah. So this is the you know fast click, and now you're marked as dead, and it's maybe ten seconds instead of ten minutes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no death saving throws that are going to bring right. It's out of it's this your, your your heart's gone. You yeah. know, um, I do find it interesting though that they are doing that, and Shinichi is literally the one that has the uh huh kind of yeah the, yeah. It's there. It's basically yep. like they're setting up for the if they reveal him and they shoot him there, and it doesn't he work, he won't die. Oh man, I mean maybe it would because because I think Miggy technically repaired his heart so but but but, but he might have replaced but, it with his cells yeah who knows repair him uh-huh right right yeah yep yep so well and also he's fast enough that like his his reaction time he could probably mm-hmm. avoid the the like that right. the shotgun blast as long as he they don't surprise him or something. right i'm just saying that because of shinichi's miggy situation where miggy mm-hmm. is in the hand and yeah. kind of the arm in in a way it's the differentiation where he still has the human brain, but he might have the parasite heart. It's the inverse of where all the other parasites, they went after the brain. Oh, sure. Whereas for Shinichi, it's the reverse. Shooting him in the head would probably be the most effective. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 That would probably instantly. It would certainly kill Shinichi. Yes, it would kill Shinichi. That's, that's Mm -hmm. for sure. Yep. Um, but this thing is going to end with a Shinichi Migi showdown against Goto. But I want to know what Probably. they're doing with Hirokawa here. I have mm-hmm. no idea what he's doing here, but I genuinely yeah. really want to see him straight up Philly Buster. I yeah. want to see him be like, I present no threat to you, but I'm going to start speaking. One of you better start recording this because uh-huh. at the end of this, I will probably be dead. And all the knowledge that I have potentially here will be you know, lost. Or, or to, sure. to only your your secondhand feedback to your, well, your superiors. And what's interesting you. here is that Goto talked about. He's like, you could totally get, you could get out of here. You could get out of here just fine. You know, yeah. we're stronger than the others, kind of thing. I don't think he said that, but you know, it's sort of implied. Right. I think what he's implying is that Hirukawa might not be necessarily a combined number. Right. He of them, might not be a quintuple. Yeah. But he's like Tamiya Ryoko, or Tamura Reiko, whatever one you prefer. Uh-huh. In that he's smarter. He is a right. he is a higher form of parasite. Yeah, which means the fact that he basically is just going back to this area to just talk or whatever it is or that's gonna happen whatever here. Whatever he's doing, yeah. That's he has a plan and the plan's probably going to work, so uh, okay. That's that's a little bit concerning. Um I would love to see him provide some perspective that is this is a meta desire, obviously, because in some ways, I don't think he's going to survive this whole encounter here. Really? Yeah. I, I don't think so. But I would love to see him do the thing of, I have been making contact slowly over the course of time with many of my brethren and my brothers sure. and sisters around the world. And if you kill me, you will never get to them. Yeah. It, you know, mm-hmm. this is this is just the beginning, and I I you know I do not desire to dominate your planet to to you know take you away we need each other you know you're like he might even wax philosophically about humans and their capacity for self-destruction regarding how we have practices that we put into place that are non um they're not systemically they they don't um you can't play that out into uh, you know eternity at fit at infinitum They, they don't they don't work and he's basically saying like we'll provide a a, a stability of sorts to your your chaos to, yeah. to humanity. Well, and the interesting thing is that um, you correct me if I'm wrong, but mm-hmm. um, Yamagishi was not in the group that no that was that saw Hirokawa. Correct. So so correct. Who knows what'll happen? Now. He's he's probably going back to the group that got wiped out when they encountered Goto, right? Because he got the call from them saying like, "Hey, these squads were more wiped, wiped out. out." Yeah, uh-huh. and he's like, "Oh crap, that's where." Um, the, the psychic is right i i gotta say i love that they made it so that we weren't exactly sure whether he was telling the truth when he told them to kill people yeah because if you think about yeah. it it's like it's like there's a when you've got someone who's a who's a murderer <laughs> yeah right like a psychotic yeah yeah a, yeah, a psycho, monster yeah he could have super easily just been like that one's a parasite 
kill that him. one's parasite. Now, granted, when they are parasites, the parasite part shrivels up and dies. So that so even if they don't reveal their parasite nature beforehand, they do like it reveals itself post. So they'd be able to confirm, yep, he was telling the truth, as opposed to like if it doesn't right. do that, and they're like. Oh, you... he's probably hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. But the he thing would, is, he would out himself as right. being a a sadistic yeah. you know, psycho, and he probably wouldn't get whatever his deal is with the government, right? Because I'm guessing what it is 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 that he's still under a count thing. It's like forever for everyone that you out to us. Yeah, we'll take off two years or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But this is probably the guy that's got like a 300 or 250 year right, sentence right. You know, or something. Yeah, and six life yeah, life exactly. sentences or something. So it's uh huh. It's all like. Right. Well, he's like, ah, oh, might as well. And maybe also this is a thing of where when he would see them in the in regular, you know, walking around and stuff like that before he got caught, he did have this little bit of, you know, kind of the the, the predator in the wild that recognizes the king of the jungle when it walks into their environment. Sure. The hyenas basically responding to the the lion and going like, yeah, 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 well, I'm a scavenger. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't screw with lions. You're you're, right. you're a big deal. I'll follow you to see if you lead me to anything interesting. Uh huh. But that was what ended up getting him, you know, caught in the first place. So it's right. not like he has any love for the parasites either, because he knows he's a oh, human yeah, yeah. being. But but the idea that they're showcasing that he definitely has the temptation to just be like, mm, yeah, I could just. I I have quite a bit of power right now. He does. I can just say kill that person and they die. And he right? did say towards the end, he's like, yeah, just just. Forget it at this point. Just kill anyone we see. Yeah, like, <laughs> and, and the yeah, yeah. idea that that even if even if he isn't actually doing that, yeah. he's still basically drinking, indulging, in, the, indulging yep. in his ability to just have people die. Right? Oh yeah. And it's the parasites here, but still, he's doing that, and the oh, people yeah. are aware he's doing that. That's why they're hesitating when he tells them to kill someone, right? Mm-hmm. Because they don't know. And yeah, oh man, it's it's good stuff. Oh man, I uh, I really like that we are setting things up to have maybe some parasite focus in the next episode, specifically with Hirokawa. Mm-hmm. I want there to be something that brings this out of the combat dungeon crawl setup. Here sure, to mm-hmm. make it more about parasites and humans and a vision for the future, something that's bigger than just this conflict in right. a city hall building. Yeah, because because the like. Cool. You, you you do this. You wipe out all the parasites here. Whatever. All right. You took out a a, a city's congregation of parasites. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Cool. Who's you to say how many do more that, there are? Do that 20,000 more times over the world. Like. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't know, like, how many there are, but there are as many, really, as the plot just basically wants there to mm-hmm. be. Yep. yep. If they just decide, oh, yeah, this was a local thing in Japan due to blah, 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 right. blah. And granted, in, like, one of the really big cities, so there's a lot of them and stuff like that. Like, right. like I, I appreciated how it wasn't just the parasites that we had kind of seen before. Because whenever we would see them in groups, there would be, like, seven or eight of them, right? Right. But here, it's like, no, 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 no. There's a lot. Yeah. Like, like there's there's in the dozens of yeah. parasites here. Yeah. Um, to, to, because, because, again, it adds that 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 bit of of that basically something like this is kind of necessary which is the which is the, 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 uh, the chilling thing yeah. because because if it was just something again where it's like oh there's three parasites here well then it's like okay g- great you know but then when it's like oh no there's dozens here it's like yeah th- then then you then you see how people would be like ah but see you know even if even if five or six people die here you know like that's how many people are not being eaten by these parasites since the parasites are dead, you know, and it's like, oh man, oh man, yeah, scary territory. Uh, we also still have the the plot line that's been kind of left in the background for Shinichi and Miggy with regarding the being that is Miggy that he meets in his dreams. And I kind yeah. of want to see the culmination of that with regards to the parasite conflict. Okay. How does that tie in at all? Hmm. If it does or it doesn't. Yeah. And then also, do you think at this stage we still have the potential for a happy ending where not all parasites are wiped out? Yes. Okay, cool. But, uh, how should I say, this doesn't uh, progress that? <laughs> no. 
No, it doesn't. <laughs> although, although, who knows? Maybe this is actually, maybe this is actually something that because it's such an aggressive thing that's being done, it kind of forces the hands of both sides yeah. to actually figure something out. Right. That's what I want just, Hirokawa to be. Doing yeah, yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Um, In some ways, he might actually have the functionality to be able to broadcast a message from that place to City Hall, and that might be what he's doing. He just he just says yeah. something that he turned on a camera. He turns on an intercom or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. And it might not have to go to the general public or anything like that, right. but it's something where mm-hmm. all the human beings who are alive here will tell the story. Well, even if all the parasites here are killed. One of the other things I always thought was kind of interesting uh-huh. is that so the the parasites are all close together and they've got their three hundred meter range of you know everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, would that mean that she, is Shinichi within that 300 meter range? Yes. Because I think he is. Yes. And if that's the case, Miggy could be talking. Well, no, 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 well, no, no. The other parasites could know that basically there's a parasite amongst the humans that's do that are doing this. Uh huh. You know, and then it's like, oh, Hiroka was like, by the way, I think you've got you guys are being put up to this by a parasite. Now, well, yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah, like that doesn't really add anything doesn't more any... to solve the his issue. Yeah, yeah. uh huh. But like, like it's it's just this thing of there's so much information that is that is possessed by both sides. Yep. That if it were to be let out, all kinds of crazy things would happen. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So it's all <sighs> now based on the intentions of those players in yep. positions of power in it's this power dynamic keg. here. So who's yeah. going to light some fuses and who's going to diffuse some fuses? Yeah. Who knows? It's very confusing. Haha. <laughs> so, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us about these stories, about anime in general. And you can also talk with Jake about the book he wrote. Yes, that's right. If you want to see a sci-fi novel written by yours truly that mm-hmm. goes into some of the same kind of uh, moral questions as we got into this episode, yeah. then go check out Battle Lines. Links in the description to Amazon where you can purchase it. There's mm-hmm. some reviews on there. I highly recommend you check those out to see what other people thought. If you do get it, leave a review of your own. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.